Welcome to Your Health. Information about today's top health topics direct from Brigham and Women's Hospital experts. We want to remind you that this information should not replace the advice or recommendations from your health care provider. Hi, I'm Joanne Foody. I'm Director of Cardiovascular Wellness at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Today we're going to talk about important information you need to know to keep yourself healthy and prevent a heart attack. A heart attack is when an artery to the heart is blocked and blood flow can no longer flow to important areas of your heart. As that blood flow is blocked, the muscle downstream of the blood flow can die and that can cause a heart attack. Unfortunately, all of us can potentially be at risk for a heart attack. People at particularly high risk for a heart attack are those with risk factors. Risk factors include things such as smoking, high cholesterol, diabetes, being overweight, or having high blood pressure. Another risk factor is having a family history of heart disease. That puts people at an increased risk of a heart attack. The warning signs for a heart attack can vary. Although some people think of a heart attack as being a sudden crushing chest pain, this isn't always the presentation for a heart attack. Many times people can develop slow, progressive uncomfortableness in their chest, can develop shortness of breath, can also develop a feeling of nauseousness or uncomfortableness in their chest. For both men and women, the most common sign of a heart attack is chest pressure or pain in the chest area. However, proportionally, women tend to have more atypical symptoms, that being shortness of breath, fatigue, uh, sweatiness or indigestion kind of feeling that may be a sign of a heart attack. If you or a friend or a family member thinks they're having a heart attack, the most important thing is to call 911, even if you're unsure of whether in fact that is a heart attack. When we try to treat heart attacks, the most important thing is that you present as early as possible to a healthcare facility. We have a tremendous amount of evidence that suggests that we can prevent a heart attack almost 80 or 90 percent of the time. The key to preventing a heart attack is to develop a healthy lifestyle. This includes a diet that's low in fats and high in fruits and vegetables. It includes being more active and increasing physical activity and it includes maintaining weight. For those of you who have risk factors for heart disease, for example, high cholesterol, it's important to get that cholesterol as low as possible. Similarly, for those with high blood pressure, again, it's important to treat high blood pressure to prevent a heart attack. Overall, prevention really is key, and we do have the power to prevent heart attack through preventing cardiovascular risk factors. Thanks for watching Your Health from Brigham and Women's Hospital. A reminder, Your Health is intended for educational purposes only. It should not take the place of advice or recommendations from your health care provider. If you have questions about what you've heard, please consult with your doctor.